Hardware Building Center starting eight, moving for race five. It's post time. Race five, top of the stretch. Kid M M H E R Quinn, Camco Woodle, Preceptor, Lowbell Bruiser, Don't Stand in My Way, Sunny Billion, and Boys Turn. They're off and uh, pacing and quickly. E.R. Quinn grabs the top spot up. Here comes Cam Kowillo now charging down the center and looks to take over from E.R. Quinn as they race on into the Redland Farms backstretch for time one. Away third at the rail. That's Kidham Image followed closely fourth by Boy's Turn. Steffi on the outside and off stride there went Lobelt Bruiser on into the backstretch heading to the opening quarter led by Cam Coelho out there by two. E.R. Quinn tracks along second. Away third. That's Kidham Image. Finding a seat from four is Boy's turn. Then back fifth on the inside is a Preceptor. Sonny Billion looks at it from six. Back in seven, don't stand in my way. And still with problems, well back in treading is Lobel Bruiser. 28 and four was the quarter. Single file as the field heads off the top turn. Up front, it is Cam Coelho out there by two with E.R. Quinn. Giving Chase second, uh, third out the rail. That is Kidham Image. Then the boys' turn is next in line, fourth. Gap of two and a half back to Preceptor, fifth. Then further back in six is Sunny Billion, seventh. Is Don't Stand in My Way into the lower turn. They continue on to the five eights, and up front it's still Camp Willow charting the path. 58 and four was the half trying it first over. Here comes Kidham Image up on the outside, second inside. Now locked in the pocket is E.R. Quinn, getting a good second over toe on the outside as boys turn third. They travel on to the three quarters now, and it is Kidham Image to take over. Boys turn is now in pursuit, second dropping back. Camp Willow is third, preceptor inside, fourth. Then don't stand in my way. Moves up into the five spot. Off stride went E.R. Quinn. They head on to the 7-H, 129, three quarters. It's Kidham Image by a length and a half. Trying to reel her in second as boys turn. Then up into the three spot comes Preceptor. They turn for home. And Kidham Image is the one to catch. And it doesn't look like they're going to catch her. Opening up now by three. And Kidham Image draws off to win the fifth. Second, that is boys turn. And third is Preceptor. Mile in 159 flat. On the Woodmere Farms of Winners Enclosure, the fifth race winner, number one, Kidham Image, three-legged daughter of Image of Dawn. Well, Calvin Eisner of Bible Hill, trained by Carl Eisner. Carl does the driving. Kidham Image in 159 flat.
Chris Colvin, talk with the task barn, please. Race five is official. One Kinnamit Mage, the winner. Two ER Quinn, seven. Three Camco Willow, six. Four Preceptor, third. Five Lobel Bruiser, eighth. Six Don't Stand in My Way was fifth. Seven Sunny Billion, fourth. And eight Boys Turn, second. Quarter was 28 and four. The half 58 and four. Three quarters and 129. And the mile four Kinnamit Mage, 159 flat. For the top down, your program should read 176-38542. One dollar try and raise five, one eight four combination, seven hundred eighty two dollars and fifty five cents. The one eight exactor thirty five fifty. And we didn't have any winners today in the pick five, a carryover of six hundred and seventy four dollars. Up next, race six, the second Bass Town Market Pace of the day. We have two scratches in race six. Take out the four, Pride of Paradise, and take out the eight, Love and Paradise. There's a bridal change in the one entry, Run for the Money, from close to open, also adding a hood with cups. Only six starters in race six, post time in six minutes. This race replay is brought to you by Symes Horse Transport. Based in Nova Scotia and with over 20 years of experience, Chucky Symes would welcome an opportunity to transport your horses when you need them moved. Operating two rigs, Symes Horse Transport offers safe, feasible, and timely trucking in Canada and in the U.S. We also buy and sell horses. To book a stall and to get a quote, call or text 902-664-7086 or email sd.symes at gmail.com. Good luck racing. Welcome back and Kidham Image uh, with a, uh, a nice looking score there in race number five, which uh, ends up uh, costing a carryover in the pick five as well as a result of Kidham Image. No one had Kidham Image in their pick five. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, it's a mare we talked a little bit about early on and um, not, uh, she didn't get the job done the way I expected to, but Carl gave her a great drive and uh, long odds and a really good try for the, the players that had it in that race as well. Absolutely. So we like take a look ahead at race number six, and again, a divergent board of our handicappers, Melissa Keith, Millpond Cheyenne, Sugar Doyle likes Payback, and Grady Hashi is all in on Aviana. I think that's how you say it, Aviana. Yeah, I'll yeah. go with that. Uh, we'll sure. go with that anyway. Joe will correct us otherwise, but uh, a nice-looking uh, two-year-old filly by Roll with Joe from the uh, Claire McDonald barn. 
Absolutely, and a couple of scratches in here make uh, make it a little bit tighter field as well. Um, I think there's good reason for this uh, two-year-old filly to be the favorite. One to four is a, maybe a little short, but when you look at those miles coming off of the island, um, 56, 57, 56, it's, it's hard to bet against her, especially in the second bottom class here when the next best competitor is a two-minute horse. It's interesting, you know, she is a New York bred by Michael Polanski, but has a Salzbrook um, dam. Yeah. So uh, certainly some, some maritime connection there, although she's a New York bred. But uh, obviously, uh, Haley Curry and Claire McDonald must have liked something about her to, to purchase her. And and uh, looks like they have been uh, rewarded with that uh, that confidence because she's looked good so far. Yeah, that Salzburg Lanamare, she was uh, the best two- and three-year-old filly at the time and went on to race uh, stateside. And obviously, whoever found her down there liked her enough as a, a broodmare, and it looks like she's going to be a good dam on that side as well. Absolutely. And uh, as we look across at the board, is um, some other uh, choices that people like in here. Um, obviously, the scratch of the eight, uh, Love and Paradise, is out. But uh, Mill Pond Cheyenne, I mean, that's a horse that uh, week in, week out has been ultra competitive and very close to uh, to winning a number of times. Has that one win, but has been uh, impressive, I think, for uh, Lee Johnson here. Absolutely. And this is a filly, if you look down her line, she doesn't get off the gate super well, um, but she closes well. Glass scores in 20, 29, 30 seconds. Um, so we talked a little earlier in the program about horses just needing that uh, to get up a little closer to give them a better shot and uh, a little bit shorter field in here. She's not going to be as far back. Uh, and closing quarter in 28 seconds today, I think will give her a really good shot and... Uh, you know, right now she's six to one. She's four to one in the morning line. Uh, Carl's coming off a confidence booster win in the last race, so um, it'll be tough to go back to back here. But I think he's got a chance. Well, in this compact six horse field, uh, it's a wide open board here. Uh, obviously, some folks like number two payback in here. Uh, Darren Crow on board this afternoon for for the Jeff Ellis trainee. I know this one recently entering Jeff Ellis's barn, coming uh, via Trois Rivières, and has a mark one fifty nine and four on the season at Trois Rivières. But uh, I was impressed with this one's effort last week. Um, you know, was up close, raced well, uh, back half in uh, a minute and uh, was a 201 mile behind uh, Tobin's Reward, who was a bit of a runaway that week. But uh, I liked uh, the nice even mile from from Payback there. Yeah, absolutely. This is a horse's first start here. He had a bit of a problem with traffic. Horse made a break in front of him. Things got a little crazy. Um, But you're right. uh, Just one of those horses that seems to be able to go a nice, consistent speed. Uh, Quarters in 29, 30 seconds. Um, again, I don't think it's going to be quite enough to get here, but it's going to make him awfully close. Uh, he picks up uh, Darren Crow, who's one of the top drivers here at Truro. Um, and he's familiar with the track now. Trois Rivière is a, a fairly similar speed rating to here. Um, so, yeah, I, I think we can expect a little bit more out of him today. Good luck with your selections. We'll be back after the post parade to chat a little more.